is up guys this is the iguana man thanks for checking out this video today we're going to be doing some iguana hunting and we found a very very unusual iguana thank you to all the new subscribers and people sharing these videos what's up so we're back at this park got this dog kennel right here nice sunny day got a couple of iguanas basking we're going to see how much we can fill in this dog kennel there. It's an overcast, cloudy day, so we're gonna start the hunt by working these rocks. Oh shit. Oh. The rocks got their pro and cons. Pros is iguanas like to be on them because it retains heat. The cons, if you do catch one, he can put you in the rocks. Oh man. This is potentially a dangerous situation. There can be snakes, scorpions, or you can slip and fall. Really dangerous right here. Ooh. So far, we got our first iguana for the day and I was really lucky to get back my snare. Got one. If you haven't noticed, these aren't like your typical pet iguanas. These iguanas are very wild. They've never been in contact with humans. Go back on the rocks and see if we can get lucky again. Got him by the arm. Exercise extreme caution when you're hunting on the rocks. One of these things can make you fall or there can be a poisonous snake waiting for you. Arm snare. Oh. Got him by the arm right here. Shows how deadly these snares are. Got two, got two, got two. Oh. Feisty right there. <laughs> we're catching these iguanas because we're actually going to be making an iguana pot roast for dinner tonight. Since the iguanas came to the Keys, they had been making their way up north, and now basically, they have infested Broward County. There's a surplus of these wild invasive iguanas. In other countries, iguanas are known to be the chicken of the trees. Us Americans are not used to that, but here in South Florida, there is an overabundance of these tasty green reptiles. So right here I'm on the rocks. I just caught that one iguana, but I see another one. So I'm gonna try to catch two in the same trip. You know, kill two birds with one stone. I mean, catch two iguanas with one snare. Right now, we're getting some Iguana Man merchandise made for you guys. Also, we're gonna be announcing the winner of the free iguana giveaway tomorrow. Mind you, I got one iguana in my left hand and I'm trying to work this other iguana without letting him go back in the rocks. say that's a successful hunt in a short amount of time just got two we just got up on two of them all these iguanas caught will be humanely prepared for human consumption 
we're gonna be making some iguana pot roast in the slow cooker. So you might wanna be on the lookout for that video. It's gonna be crazy. Holy smack, we just got a crazy going on. Watch you guys. Oh, he's on the rock. Oh my God. These waters are so tricky. You can snare them and they'll try to actually break you off in rocks. Get themselves stuck, see these guys. Got him out, almost gotta try to reverse him, but I want you guys to see this tail right here. Look how insane this thing is. What the heck is this? That is crazy. <sighs> okay, so the good and bad of hunting iguanas on rocks. The good is there's a chance that you could catch a lot of iguanas in a short amount of time. The bad is some of the iguanas can go under the rocks and also the risk of injury is very high. You guys seen that weird stegosaurus tailed iguana? Let me know in the comments why do you guys think his tail is that way? It's the Iguana Man signing out, guys.